From WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. It's a warm and muggy night across the Twin Tiers. Temperatures in some areas still in the upper 70s. At this hour, the humidity remains high. Now, earlier today, we had a high temperature at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport of 88 degrees, above average by nearly 10 degrees. Normal high this time of year, 79. We started the day off at 57, but check this out. In Elmira right now, it's 78 degrees, 75 in Corning, 77 in Tioga and in Mansfield, 75 right now in Tawanda. Now, there's a cold front lurking off to the north and west, but the showers and thunderstorms out ahead of that frontal boundary have been weakening over the last several hours, and that weakening trend will continue through the overnight period. Uh, we're still expecting a couple spotty showers to pass through our region, maybe a few rumbles of thunder, but again, we're not too concerned with a, a severe weather threat moving forward through the overnight period. A couple stronger storms drop south out of uh, southern Potter County, heading down towards the Williamsport area, bypassing us to the south. And again, as we look to the west, just a couple spotty showers, and that's about it. So some areas will stay dry altogether through the course of the overnight period, but we can't rule out a, a slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm. Our future track showing as we get closer to daybreak. Again, a couple spotty showers here and there. Otherwise, just variably cloudy skies. 5 a.m. temperature, 74 Watkins Glen, 70 in Elmira, 75 in Troy. So definitely a warm start to the day. But with that cold front coming through, our winds will shift out of the north, and that's going to prevent temperatures from getting as warm as they were this afternoon. Around noon tomorrow, a couple light showers passing through. Can't rule out a few rumbles of thunder, but the severe threat concentrated on areas farther off towards the south. A few more showers and thunderstorms possible tomorrow night and into Thursday, but you kind of get the picture here looking at future track. Certainly not going to be a washout, and it's going to be kind of hit or miss in nature where these thunderstorms develop. But where they do occur, there could be a couple brief downpours. But the majority of our Wednesday looking dry with limited sunshine and temperatures in the lower 80s. Latest guidance right now showing rainfall totals over the next 24 hours. Not very impressive at all. Again, there could be some localized higher amounts where thunderstorms develop, but generally speaking, looking at less than a tenth of an inch of rain. As the cold front sinks to the south tomorrow, coinciding with the peak heating of the afternoon, well, from areas of Ohio eastward into Pennsylvania, that's where the best chance for severe thunderstorms will be. Closer to home, again, a much uh, less of a chance for any strong thunderstorms. And then as we head uh, towards the upcoming weekend, looks like another front will move in from the west, and that could give us a couple more showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. Today we forecast a high of 90. 88 was the official high temperature. 68 for a low tonight, perhaps a stray shower or thunderstorm. Same can be said for tomorrow. Otherwise, partly sunny with a 5-degree guarantee of 82. 77 with a chance for a shower thunderstorm Thursday, Friday dry. We start up the weekend a bit unsettled, but Sunday and Labor Day dry by Labor Day. Nick, we're only looking at 72 for a high temperature. Unofficial end of summer. And just to think how hot today was. That's right, 88. It certainly felt warmer mm -hmm. with the humidity around. Still humid tomorrow, but not, not as warm. Now, speaking of hot temperatures, let's get to your trivia. Yeah, we're talking about the hottest temperature ever recorded on the planet. What country did that occur in? So I want to say Egypt. However, I know that's probably not Egypt. It's probably the United States. And that would be correct, Nick. Now, highest recorded temperature. You never know out in some, you know, isolated desert areas. But mm -hmm. uh, as far as recorded temperature goes, uh, that occurred at Furnace Creek. So that's Death Valley, California. Uh, back uh, in the early 1900s, had a high temperature of 134 degrees. Wow, that's hot stuff. All right, thanks, Joe. All right, well, 